What is up? This is your boy, Anecdotal, and today we're celebrating the over 100 days of MSI launching. And there's still no raids, nothing, but hey, that's not what this is about. We got the soldier chance up going on with the gold boxes. We're going to open those up. We're going to see what prizes we get for being 100 days of playing this game and it being launched. We're going to look at slugs. We got this whole gold level stuff to talk about. We got stages of boot camp. There's just, there's so much. So let's go ahead, collect all these prizes here. Give me, give me, give me 100, 100, 10, 10. That looks good, man. I, no complaints. I mean, 200 would have been nicer, but hey, all we had to do was log in, and it makes sense. So let's hope and see what happens on 200 days. Do we get 200? Or 200? No one cares about that number. Maybe 300. And Rubble Infantry is still not out, guys. Why is it here? It has been in this book of, of troops that we have, a list of the units and slugs. All of them exist. Except Rebel Infantry, and I want it. Look at its passive. Now, what everyone has been thinking is, our hypothesis as a group of MSI players, as a community, is that within our alliances, raids will pop up, and we can go ahead and get that, those pieces as fragments. Or like, whatever we beat that boss, we get rewarded with them. Also, Ralph, super rare. I don't know when I'm going to get this dude. But... That's what I'm hoping for. Let me get some of Mordon. Let me get some of Ralph. Let me get some of that red conga guy, though. He's he doesn't feel as rare because he pops up. And then this, you know, bootleg Jesus version of Goku. Bam! Can't wait to get that guy too. I could always use more ring laser mecha. Because the cooldown is important. I'm going going ham on one coring physical damage or whatever damage you guys are doing if you're going on one you need that so vanguard's here Rumi is here i could always go for more Rumi for sure then marco h whatever uh that doesn't really matter too much for me but yeah we got we got some pretty good chances kind of we got 3.5 there's no chance up for anybody so uh whatever whatever hey we got a gold that's 200 pieces baby bam right here vanguard 200 feeling it feeling it we're starting off really fresh now this will be updated in the future you got to pick the unit you want and and you i think you get a chance or maybe it's guaranteed that you get 200 of that specific unit or maybe just 50 i don't remember but the next time this happens it's gonna be that much better man they're getting rid of some of the rng and that's all i want all i need is to get rid of more rng look at that two two out of them we're, we're just perfect pulls. Can't wait for that. 200 again. Yes. And I got Mr. Bazooka Man. And I also got Fake Goku over there. So not bad overall. We go ahead. We got our 7. Out of the 7, usually at least 1 or 2 were things that, I, that were worthwhile. Should I pull again? Because I could still pull one more time. Nothing gold? Nothing gold? Oh, come on. Come on. At least, at least the guy in the middle here was pretty good. But that's about it. So I just, it's good because we have the ability to pick at least one of the pieces. At least one of them. The only guy I could upgrade is Mort Mortar. This messed up, man. I guess that's the thing about pulling now. So after 100 days in of playing the game, get, well, I haven't played on the day of launch. Have I? I think I played a week or two weeks after launch. Like I had the game installed. But I just didn't know if it's something I really wanted to play. Because I knew once I started. It might be a thing. And look at it. It's a thing now. <laughs> it's a thing. So. Uh, unless I get one of these units that I don't really care about. But even then I need way more. <laughs> even then I need way more than 200 units. So. I don't know. But look at Vanguard. Oh. Oh look at that. The speed goes up by 5. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Not the greatest of differences anymore, is it? Oh, uh, no, nope, not at all. Oh, quick advice though. If you are trying to just up your medals like crazy, just plus one to enhance. It's the cheapest way. It, sure, it costs 300 gems and you want to save them for, for doing pulls. But if you just real quick, real quick, want to go ahead and up your medals a little bit, you, you can go ahead and do that. Only... Only if you already have, like, the full roster. If you don't have everybody yet, there's no reason to do that. But for me, look at this. Look at the difference, man. You see? It's worth it. 
it is worth it. Bam. All I had to do was spend 300. Sure, 20 pieces of soldiers means nothing. Absolutely nothing. And you get a huge increase in your medals every time you do something like this. So, enhance the plus one. 20 pieces. You get like 15% of a medal buff for all of them. So, 300. Only 10 pieces again. Bam. You see the difference. Easily get it. Promoting? Like what you just saw me do at Vanguard? Well, was nothing. It was like three, three times the amount when you enhance compared to when you promote. So, I mean, you tell me what's better. You know, you how many how many gems have you spent to get more pieces compared to that? Way better, way better, more bang for your buck. So, my goal right now to get everything to plus one. I gotta wait to be level 140 anyways to get to what is it eight? eight star war books so i gotta i got some time sure i want to save it for the next war book thing but i mean not the next war book thing for for the next gold boxes openings of stuff but look at this i hit level 110 i'm at level 113 here so bam let's see hopefully i get something good i got super lucky getting roomy last time so let's see what happens now. We gotta warm up, all right? Get some 10 boxes, see what happens. If it's trash, I'm just gonna go right past Smasher. Thank you, Smasher, all right, all right? We're getting there. We got three 100s I've been saving up. Zombie, okay, we got the fat zombie. What are you trying to say, game? Huh, huh, huh? All right, we got this guy. What we got next? And we got the Rifleman, and the Dowsing is here. What are we going to get, YouTube luck? Tarma, okay. Tarma's not bad. He has really good, what's that thing called? CC? You know, he can really crowd control really well. Yeah, well, whatever. Let's open up some Slugs EX so we can see if we can get an SSR on video. SSR, baby. Let's see. Let's see. Bring the pain, guys. Bring the pain. Let's see what happens here. Okay, what's going on here? We got Weak Donkey. These guys don't matter at all. Can I... Will it change if I put Weak Donkey in there? Or should it be all three of the same? It's nothing. It doesn't mean nothing. It doesn't. Give me something good, man. Give me something good. You see my chances? 25%, right? Okay. SR. SR, guys. I got an SR. Uh, Alright, it's not horrible. I can now, for the first time ever, have an 8-star SR slug. And maybe that's going to mean something. I don't know. Will it be better than my 7-star slug? And will I be able to take that SR slug and make it a 9-star slug before my SSR could even get to 8? You know what I'm saying? Because the their rarity obviously is quite different. And I feel like I've been getting so many slugnoids. Like, for real? Seriously? I, by the way, this, the huge Martian with the eye, I don't like it. <laughs> it's really holding me back because its attack is low because it's a tank. And its attack speed is super low. If you want to know what it looks like, it just like drops little circular slime balls that slowly bounce its way to the enemy. And only like one at a time. And when you get lucky, it'll throw out three at a time. What's going on here? Oh, it's in my PvP team. Oh, so annoying that you need to like unequip. I'd rather it ask like it is equipped it to your PvP team. Would you like to remove it, or would you like to remove it for from all teams so that you can do it? And le just let me say yes, and then get through the evolution or ranking up portion of this part of the game. Like, come on, guys, streamline this just a little bit. We, we've you've already done the streamlining for EF. Just let this be let this be a thing. I know there's no slugs there, but come on, come on. Let this, let this happen. Same thing for, I guess, just leveling up your soldiers. It's been 100 days. Have a upgrade all button for, for like by hundreds or by thousands. In the same way you have it for Endless Frontier, streamline it so we can level up our troops here all together. And then by the time we get to the end, sure, we'll just upgrade the guy that matters. But still, like, put this in the game. Have that one button for everything. Same thing for, what is that thing called? <laughs> for farming materials or for slugs. I got to click on complete now 13 times. Because when you watch the ads, you get three extra tickets. And we start off with 10. Let's just do it that way. All right. Also, the bonuses. When you first unlock the bonuses or when you get the star up, 
every time you get the second, the first set, which is one and two war books, you end up getting more materials. So once that option comes up, try to get more materials first. Do the do two sets or do the first set, which is two war books of each set. That way you can go ahead and get it. If you're not sure which ones, you can just go ahead and click on the right side. Uh, currently we're at 17 to 30, but I think we did get two new members that are active and one of them came back from vacation. So we're, we're pretty good. According to this, we're at 16, but I think we might be level 19 by now. So if you want to join the Alliance, because who knows when raids are coming, but I mean, it's not coming on the next update because we didn't hear anything about it. Sure, we got new stages, but whatever. Guys, also let me know how far you are in the slug camp. I'm doing my thing with a tank. If I was lucky enough to not pull a tank, <laughs> who knows where I could have been right now. So you let me know where you are. You might be further than I am. I am starting to slip away from rank 19 and be under, or in this case, over rank 20. Because I'm I'm flying solo with my tank here. Super annoying. Super annoying. There's, there's nothing I can do about it, man. Nothing. So let me know how far you are in slug camp. I'm really curious to see how much further other people are if they're not maining a tank. Like... Oh, it's still stronger than the 8-star SR I have, that Slugnoid guy. Still stronger than him because he can't level up to that same point. But it's kind of close, which is which is really sad. Like an SR is really close. It's 1-star higher, sure. And also, it's a tank compared to a DPS, so that's there. But man, like help, help a guy out, you know? But, like, it's so sad. It's so hard. G give me a selector for slugs, and I'll be super happy. I know the converter... By the way, never buy the converter. Huge tip. The converter kits, never buy... 20? It costs 20 of those triangular things? Are you kidding? You can just get 7 of the one that you want. So, unless you went super ham on it, and you somehow got it to, like, 9 stars or something, why convert it? Just switch the, tr the troop that you're using to whatever... Whatever attack style that is, if it's a physical, just just change your main hero to a to a to a physical or to a fire or to electricity. Who cares? Let your slug, your SR slug DPS dictate what you're going to be using. I just happen to got unlucky and have a tank that I need to roll with. But hey, who cares? Top twenty, anyways, people. Holla at your boy. So let's also talk about troops right gold levels is a thing now it matters before it didn't matter that you leveled it up but look now you have all these things just like endless frontier there are selfish troops and there are non-selfish troops and of course if you want to stay and have the maximum amount of buff make sure that all your troops are of the same tribe or in this case of the same faction or allegiance so all other worlders or another worlders there all rebels red rebels in the same spot and then all of the well, regular army in the same location as well. So that way the buff, when it says that it will like up your attack, your attack distance, your speed and all that, it will actually help whatever attribute. So I'm really at the point of the game where it's not going to help too, too much. But it, no matter which one you have in the game, if you plus one enhance them, the first enhance will be economy base so it might give you extra gold levels just like my homie dog here and ring mecca it's it might give you quest time it might give you extra gold it might do something of that nature it's going to be economy wise uh an economy wise buff so just go ahead plus one anyone anyways that's on your team so you can get a small amount of buff economy wise and if you just started playing that small buff might be a lot more helpful than you think for me not as much because my war bugs almost take over, but that little bit of help actually helps me reach the next quest that much faster. So it does help. Your attack goes up as well. It, it Your speed increases. So all of it is there. But for me, skipping matters more than all. So the way my team is run is... For me to be able to do as many returns as I possibly can. So that means I do have to play a little bit more. But for everybody else that's going straight power. Stick to the same faction. Whether it's regular army. Uh, the red ribbon army. Man. Is it, it cannot be. It's just red army isn't it. Ah Dragon Ball you got me. Alright. Or another force. Just have them all be the same. 
But if you're going to go ahead and try to do what I do and try to skip stages to get there faster, to get the most amount of returns, do that. But if you're on a time crunch and that's not what you want, you want to go ahead, go straight DPS, then go ahead, stay with the same one. Still have Maduka on your team because the skill for Maduka is still one of the only buff units there are. Rumi and the other Maruka, they increase your attack and your crit or something like that. So you still want those people on your team because they are the only buffing units in the game. If there's another one, let me know. Like huge oops. But I'm pretty sure that that's it. They just do that weird little kissy thing and bam, you got it. So this has been your boy, Anecdotal. And if you like this video, man... Make sure to like it, share it with anybody from the MSI community, and of course, don't forget to make yourself known. And comment down below. Peace. Oh, and, and you know I'm ending with the I thing, right? It's a thing. It's a thing now. Just accept it. See ya.